Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the brand new color options for Apple's iPhone 7, being just the regular black. See, in addition to the iPhone 7 in black, they also updated their Apple Lightning Dock lineup to include the brand new color configuration and kind of replace the space gray. So again, we do have this new black color and we're going to look at it and also compare it against that of the iPhone 6S's space gray so that way we can kind of get a feel for how the black one will look in advance. Now be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up because I'm actually giving away an iPhone 7. So if you want additional information on that, definitely check out this video. It will be linked on your screens now as well as down below in the description. So again, to win an iPhone 7, there are full details in that video. And also in the comments section, let me know if you guys want more iPhone 7 giveaways. I may actually plan a couple of other ones as well, especially depending on how well this one's received. Okay, so let's get straight into this. Of course, the box and the packaging for the iPhone Lightning Dock in black is identical to that of the previous colors. Remember, I did do an unboxing last year of all of the colors, which these are those exact same docks, except there's also a rose gold one that of course matches the rose gold Apple introduced with the iPhone 6S. I, however, do not have it here for today's video, but it also exists. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box before we actually open Open it up. So on the front, it just has a picture of the dock itself. And of course it says Apple iPhone lightning dock black. And then we have nothing on the side. And then of course on the back, it just reiterates that it is the dock. And if we flip it on over to the other side, it states that it is compatible with iPhone and iPod touch with lightning connector and that devices require iOS eight or later. And I also want to mention that this does work with the iPad mini and even the 9.7 inch iPad to an extent. I mean, it is definitely wobbly with those devices, but it will work if it does have a lightning connector. So let's go ahead and pop it open. Now, of course, on the back, we just have this conveniently placed orange tab there that all we have to do is just pull to open it up. We don't even need a knife or anything. We can just open the top lid like so, and then we can pull it out using the flap. And it looks like we were going to pull it out upside down there, but here we go. Now we have the black dock directly on top. We can go ahead and pull that out. Of course, the only other things that we have in the box are these two pieces of literature here. The first one just says iPhone lightning dock and the other one is just some important product information. We can go ahead and set that off to the side and of course just walks through the basic functionality of the product itself. Nothing really too fancy there. So we can go ahead and set all of this off to the side and return to the star of this video, the black iPhone dock, guys. I can already tell you without having removed this piece of plastic that it looks amazing. And there we go the black iPhone dock. Now this is exactly the same color as the regular matte black iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. It looks absolutely stellar. I've gotta say I'm really excited for it and I can't wait to get my hands on one. Of course, the main difference here is that we also do have the black rubber bottom instead of the regular white rubber bottom that's on the other iPhone lightning docks. As you can see here by just looking at the bottoms of these ones that I have in the background right now. Overall though, it is exactly the same as the metal lightning docks that were introduced with the iPhone 6. Success. The only thing that's different here is just the color. So if we flip it on over on the back here, we do have a headphone jack port as well as the lightning port that of course we actually use to connect it to our computer. So let me go ahead and grab a lightning cable off camera here. And you will notice that all we have to do is just connect it into the back like so. And then from there, you just connect the other end into your computer or in fact into the Apple wall adapter. And then you can just plug that into the wall. Either way, it will work. And then and you plug your iPhone in to the end on the dock itself, of course, and it works just like so. Now for those of you who are familiar with my videos, these are the docks that I do use to actually prop up my iPhone in my videos. I have people ask me all the time what dock I use. I just use the official Apple one. But as you can see, here is a pretty good comparison of the difference between the black as well as the space gray, which of course is phased out on the iPhone 7. There's no more space gray, there's just this black and then the jet black color, which does match that of the Mac Pro it seems. It's definitely a higher gloss and a glossy finish over the regular black. So let's kind of get a close up of these two colors compared against one another right on top of each other. You can tell that there is a pretty stark difference between these two. The black is just 
pretty much jet black. I don't want to say jet black because of course it is the matte finish and Apple's jet black is really the glossy one, but that's really what it is. It's a jet black and it's what a lot of people have hoped Apple would bring back, just the pure black. And one other thing that I wanted to say before we wrap up here, remember on the back that I said this does have a headphone jack? Yeah, Apple actually recommends that if you want to charge your device and listen to music at the same time, you pick one of these guys up, which are $50. That's definitely prohibitive for some people, especially for something that was previously available on the older devices. Now, for me personally, I really don't care because I use wireless headphones and I definitely plan on using Apple's AirPods, but I know for a lot of people, it is going to be an issue charging your device and listening to music at the same time. So what do you think? Do you think that this is a justifiable solution or do you just think it's a workaround? Let me know down below in the comment section. Remember, of course, Apple will also ship adapters that will just let you listen to music on the iPhone 7, but not charge it at the same time. And of course, third parties are also coming up with other crazy dongles and solutions that definitely are not ideal. Again, personally though, I already use a wireless solution, so I'm fine with it. But I really do want to hear what you guys think down below in the comment section. Also, what are your opinions on this new black color? I'm super excited to actually get one in and unbox it for you guys. Of course, I'm going to do that on day one. So be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. That way you will be instantly notified. And of course, you can also follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. That way you'll be even more in the loop. And here's one last shot I just wanted to give you guys kind of comparing the difference between the space gray as well as the black. So that's how it looks in comparison to last year's color option, the space gray on the iPhone 6S and even on the iPhone 6. Again, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCracker iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.